What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Skylar for those of you that are new. So this week's video is going to be based off a topic that has been very popular this week <laughs> in good ways and in bad. Let's talk about where my weight went. A little backstory without going too in depth. I have PCOS. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. With this particular disease, it is super hard to lose weight. You can't go too hard in your exercises because it doesn't do anything for your weight. You can't go too easy on your exercises because it doesn't do anything for your weight. And literally, food is so hard to manage when you have PCOS because literally everything, carbs, sweets, too much protein, not enough protein. I mean, there's all kinds of factors that go into that and losing weight when you do have PCOS. So, I have been trying to lose weight for a while now. I have exercised, I've gotten gym memberships and then canceled them. I've tried to work out at home. I've tried to change my eating habits. I've tried to cut sugars out. I've tried to eat less carbs. I've tried all that stuff. I've tried keto and just nothing was working for me. So March of this year, I went to a primary care doctor and I talked to them about potentially getting put on some kind of medication to assist me with losing the weight just because I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere and I was just tired of looking at myself in the mirror. I hated the way that I looked. I would go to stores and try clothes on. They wouldn't fit and it'd be like the biggest size the store had and I would just cry because I just felt so disgusting. Although, you know, I seem like I'm pretty confident on social media. I always have, but um, that was something I really, really struggled with. I honestly think at this point, I um, may have even led myself to have body dysmorphia. I can't prove that at this moment, but just the way that I still kind of think about myself sometimes. I went to the doctor and she was like, yeah, you know, we'll put you on something and uh, we'll get you losing some weight and we'll check back in with you and we'll see how it goes. So I was like, okay. And so originally they were gonna put me on what's called Wagovi, which is just a shot that you do once a week and my insurance wouldn't approve it. Without insurance, it was two grand a month. Ridiculous, our healthcare system is <laughs> so fucked, so fucked. So then after that, they switched it to Manjaro, which is like Wagovi, just a different brand and wouldn't approve me, $1,200 a month. And then we tried one other med, Ozempic maybe, and they weren't having it. So, I kind of, you know, looked up some options, did some research. I ended up finding a body clinic to go to, which they do, um, like IVs, like, you know, the, um, like the IV bags when you're dehydrated or when you're hungover or whatever. They do those, and they also, like, help you manage your weight with meds. So, I went and met with them there, and I got put on semaglutide injections, which is basically an off-brand of Wagovi and Ozempic. So, basically, it's these injections that you can put anywhere in your subcutaneous tissue. So, you can put it in your stomach, you can put it in your thighs, you can put it in your arms. Just basically anywhere that you have fat or, like, a little bit of skin that you can put it in. You take it once a week, and it... Number one, suppresses your appetite stimulant, so you're not hungry all the time. Number two, it also uh, helps keep you fuller for longer. So I went to the doctor, talked to them about it, told them what I wanted, and they were really good, really informative, uh, you know, told me everything that I needed to know. So in March, I was 221.8 pounds is what I started at. As of this past Wednesday, which was August the 2nd, I am 169, which is crazy. That's an insane amount of weight to lose in the time period that I have, I feel like. But it's just wild to me to look back at pictures and just see how big of a difference it really is. So, you know, when I first started it, 
I did feel a little cruddy, you know. Um, I was getting used to like not eating all the time. Uh, if I ate too much, it made me super nauseated. I went from having like a regular poop schedule to only going like every four days. That was rough. And also my body was trying to learn what it could and couldn't tolerate anymore. So as far as sweets, every time I ate something sweet, it made me sick. Uh, that's passed now, now that my milligram is higher. Uh, but at first it was really rough. Like I would take the shot and be sick for two days. I couldn't drink alcohol. I couldn't have my coffee. And if you know me, you know that my world revolves around my coffee and it was rough. However, we're back to normal now. I can have my sweets and it doesn't bother me. I can have my coffee, it doesn't bother me. I guess what I'm saying is that, you know, it was a good move for me. It was a good decision. It has definitely helped me. I feel so much better. I feel like I look a lot better. I am definitely feeling myself now. I am way more confident than I was. It's just been a wild ride the last few months. So, and no, this is not paid. Nobody is, you know, gonna compensate me for this video. I just like to share the knowledge and spread it that way for anybody else that's struggling to lose weight. It can help you as well. The main reason I did this, number one, is because I was just super overwhelmed with my body and the way that I looked. Number two, for those of you that don't know, me and my husband have been trying to conceive for a while now, going on about four and a half years. I have never successfully gotten pregnant. I've never, you know, I wasn't ovulating on my own without meds things like that. And then since losing the weight, I have been pregnant once. I carried for a week and unfortunately miscarried. And I was very upset, still upset about that. However, we have to look on the bright side that I did get pregnant. And you know, we really didn't know that I was ever gonna be able to. So that's a step in the right direction. And I am happy about that. I am continuing the shots right now. My original goal was 170, so I've surpassed that, which is fantastic. I'm just going to keep going just to see, you know, how far I can get and still feel comfortable because I don't want to be like crackhead skinny. I don't want to be like a fucking twig, you know. I just, I'm going to do what's comfortable for me and what makes me feel good and that's that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video. If you're in Tennessee and you're looking for a body clinic, Body Works in Franklin is fantastic. They are so sweet, so nice. They're very good at explaining things to you and they have a really good rapport with their patients. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.